Surprise, surprise, motherfucker. The king is back. So tonight, boys, is UFC 205, and I am so goddamn hyped for this card. There are some of the greatest fights you're going to witness. Alvarez McGregor, obviously, topping the card, but Tyron Woodley and Wonderboy is also an amazing fight. I can't wait to watch every single fight on this card. It really is absolutely stacked. Like, many people have said this is the best card the UFC has ever put out. So, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk you guys through some of my fighting experience and uh, mainly things in school. I've never been one for huge conflict, and um, I never got into a real, real fight, but um, let's, uh, let's go through some of my experiences. So first of all, um, when I was little, I did kickboxing. That's one of my experiences in fighting. Um, I think I got to a yellow belt, which was like the second belt, nothing big, um, and I quit after a while because they moved the gym to a better location for them, but worse for me, and in the end, I just stopped going. And uh, yeah, that was that. So my first story today is coming from when I was in school. And um, yes, I'm a little bit of a bully in this story. I'm not going to lie. And it's not, it's going to make me real in a bad light. But you don't judge me now because, you know, it was back then. And uh, here's the story anyway. I'm, I don't want to tell this because it's like I'm, I'm going to be perceived as a bully and a bad guy. And you might hate me for it. But at the end of the day, like I had my reasons for doing this. But anyway, this wasn't really a fight. So, um, I think I was in year 10, and uh, we used to play football at, at lunchtime or break time, and I had like a brand new coat that was like beige colored, so I was wearing my brand new coat, and I thought, today I'm not going to play football, I'm just going to stand behind the goal, and uh, if, you know, people play football, they play football, I'll just be hanging out behind the goal, where I usually would hang out if I wasn't playing. So, um, I was hanging out there, so there was a year of seven, or maybe he was a year eight, but I can't quite remember, and... Um, he was playing football, and he would always hang out with us. He was really cool. I was one of the people who initially said, you know, just let him play with us sort of thing. Because um, a lot of people was like, no, like, fuck him. He's just a little kid. He's not playing with us. And I was like, no, nah, let him play, you know. We'll be cool to him. And, you know, I was okay with him. He was fine. But um, he kicked the ball once, and it was muddy. And I had my new coats on, and the ball would splashed, and mud just went all over my coat. So I got pissed off. And everyone was, like, looking like, oh, shit, what are you going to do sort of thing. So, <laughs> I went and I got this, like, this year 7 or year 8, and I, like, judo tripped him into the mud. Um, I grabbed him by his ankles and sort of dragged him through the mud. And I'm not, I'm not happy that I did this now. I'm not, you know, I'm not looking back on this like I'm glad I did that, but it was horrible and I shouldn't have done it. I know that now as a person that that was wrong to do and I should have been, like, the, the bigger man, I guess, and just been like, you know what, that was a mistake. Um, everyone makes mistakes sort of thing, but it didn't, and that's what happened. So the next story is pretty similar to that one, actually. Um, it happened in basically the same week. Um, so I'd washed the coat, I got it on again, I was out of school, I didn't learn my lesson. I wasn't playing football, obviously, having a new coat on. And um, a guy who was in my gear at this time kicked the ball, and it hit me, and caused like a, a muddy print on my new coat. And obviously, what happened before, sort of everyone was looking at me like, oh shit, what's going to happen again? And, um, so this time I just went up to the dude, and, uh, just full and punched him. I just went up to him, and I didn't, like, hit him to try and hurt him, but I didn't want to look like a pussy and be like, you know what, that's okay if you do it. So I wanted to keep the same standard across the board, and, um, I just thought, you know, just sort of hit him with my, my jab or cross it would have been, um, on the cheek, didn't go for the nose, didn't want to bust him off, but I didn't want to knock him out, so it was just sort of, uh, you know, here's a punch, what are you going to do about it? And if he'd have reacted like he wanted to fight... There would have been a fight, but he didn't. He sort of just went, like, fucking flinched back, took the punch, and then um, he just, like, walked off with his friends, and, um, you know, the people out of the group who was close to him just went off, and he was all pissed off and storming about that he got punched. And, um, yeah, that was that was basically that. Never got in trouble for that one. The third story, then, is um, less of me fighting, but maybe something that I caused. Um, again, this is not a good story. This is, you know, high school shit, and um, I think we was in year 10 again. And it was, um, I think it was in towards the end of the school year, so it was like quite warm out. And uh, we was on the field, and um, there was like a really skinny kid who was like part of the group. And everyone just randomly just started like throwing their bags at him, like not hard to hurt him, just like trying to trip him up and stuff and hitting him with the bags. And it was it was funny for everyone who was involved because you know, what the fuck wouldn't it be? You know, you're, you're beating the kid up, and that's funny apparently if you're in year ten at my school, so I joined in as well, not gonna lie, I joined in as well, and um, people were just, you know, hitting this kid, 
At first, he wasn't too fussed about it. He was just like, fucking stop it sort of thing. But at the end, he started to get a little bit pissed off. And um, I actually picked up his bag and threw it and hit him on, like, the upper upper body. And um, he, he just, like, flipped out. But he didn't know it was me. He thought it was somebody else. So he went to the other person and he just, like, punched this guy in the face. Bearing in mind that this guy is, like, twice the size of him, both this way and this way. And he, like, punches this person. <laughs> the, the big guy just, like, fucking lumps him right in the middle of the nose, busts his nose. And um, I think he got in trouble for obviously punching him, but <laughs> that that was another fight story. And these stories are horrible. I'm looking at these now, and I know they're horrible. I know you guys are going to be thinking, what a fucking dickhead this guy is. What's he even telling us this? Um, but that's my fight experience. I never, like I said, I wasn't a, com a confrontation kind of person. I never really got in a fight with anybody, um, like one-on-one -on -one in a fist fight at school. I just wasn't that kind of person, and uh, these three instances were just the only three instances that happened in my school life, and I'm sure you guys have probably done worse, and I'm sure some of you guys are looking at these stories like, you know what, he's not the person I thought he was, but I'm not that person anymore, I'm not my year 10, 11, year 9 self, I'm now a much more improved person, I like to think, um, but yeah, I'm still excited for 205, um, if you aren't staying up or you're on watching 205, then uh, you're missing out, because it's going to be amazing. And I think I'm going to stay up and try and watch it. Because Cage Warriors is actually on before it. Which is, again, uh, Paddy the Baddy. If, you watch, if you're into MMA, you know what I'm talking about. If you, if you don't, then you're thinking Paddy the Baddy. Google him. Definitely Google him. He's, he looks weird, but he's, he's a badass. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to watch that. Then I'm going to watch the prelims. Then UFC. So I'm going to be up from like, uh, I think it's like 9 o'clock for Cage Warriors. Which is a UK um, event. And then it's going to be till like 4, 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to be watching a lot of UFC. Um, or a lot of MMA. And, um, yeah, I just thought I'd do this video. Now I ramble for too long at the end of it. Thank you for watching this, boys. Hope you have enjoyed. Uh, let me know your opinions in the comments. Please don't hate me too much, and I'll see you guys in the next one very soon.